your body is away from me but there is a window open from my heart to yours from this window like the moon i keep sending news secretly <sighs> ladies and gentlemen it has been a year that canada lost many brilliant minds who were enriching its schools and universities and invigorating its communities and neighborhoods extending from coast to coast to coast. All 176 passengers of the flight lost their lives, leaving us as an unfulfilled crater of loss. The community of University of Toronto has been especially affected, losing eight of its brilliant members. Throughout the year, we looked up to them, admired them, and followed their path. And we will continue to cherish their memories, even though we will forever remain indebted to their legacy and their contribution to our community. We can never imagine the burden of pain that their families bear, but to show our sympathy to their families and honor the victims, University of Toronto, along with the Iranian Association at University of Toronto, Bahar Charity and UTSC Iranian Students Associate, Association have organized this memorial in their loving memory. My name is Mobin Miryan, and on behalf of all the organizers of this memorial, would like to express my heartfelt condolences to the families, friends, and colleagues of those who perished in the last year's tragic downing of the flight PS752 on January 8, 2020. Now, <clears throat> I will speak briefly about the indelible lives of each of the eight victims from the University of Toronto community. Zainab Asadi Lari. Zainab was born in 1998 and she was a fourth year student pursuing an honors of bachelor science at University of Toronto, Mississauga, who was fiercely competitive with herself, but collaborated with others and had an incredible capacity to build relationships. As her professors mentioned, she was a scientist from the start that had plans and dreams to improve people's life. Being a fierce advocate for mental health, reducing stigma, public health and global health, when she faced a barrier, Zainab would look for solution and always followed up her ideas with action. Zainab was an active member of her community with a strong admiration for medicine, public and global health and STEM education. She previously interned with the World Health Organization. Zainab will always be remembered for her tremendous leadership and mentorship skills. Muhammad Hossein Asadi Lari. Muhammad is remembered by his peers as a deeply compassionate individual who was known for lifting people when they're feeling down. Active in many projects and organizations, it was clear to many that Muhammad was a change maker in the making. He was born in 1996 an MD and PhD student who was helping to found the Canadian Association for Physician Innovators and Entrepreneurs and STEM Fellowship. He was also involved in numerous youth focused activities through his effort with UNESCO, the Canadian Institution for Health Research, the Canadian Red Cross and the World Economic Forum, to name just a few of the many organizations he served over the last few years. Dr. Greenhill said his incredible mind, heart and energy will be missed. Muhammad will be remembered as a truly gifted forward thinker and system thinker. Now we would know that he would want us to focus on future and innovating and contributing to our community. Muhammad Saleh. Muhammad was born in 1987. As a child, he loved computer programming and developed his first computer program while he was in elementary school. 
Hamad was admitted to Yofti's computer science PhD program in 2018. He was an outstanding scientist and a top rate engineer who had a deep understanding of the theoretical aspect of computer science. During his short time at UFD, he developed strong collaboration with scientists from Samsung AI Research and AT&T Research. His dedication and hard work resulted in multiple published papers at top conferences. His humbleness and humility were inspiring, especially for those who were aware of his technical expertise. Muhammad will always be remembered as a kind, respectful, and caring soul who went above and beyond to help others. Zahra Hassani. Zahra was Saleh's wife and was born in 1994. She was a graduate of the National Organization for Development of Exceptional Talents in Iran. She graduated from Sharif University with a bachelor's degree in physics. She was looking forward to pursuing her graduate studies at UFD. Her kindness and generosity were exceptional. Zahra was caring, devoted to her friends and family, spiritual, and had a unique perspective where she enjoyed life to its fullest. Zahra will be remembered as extremely mindful when it came to her friends, family, and neighborhoods. Muhammad Amin Beiruti. Muhammad Amin was born in Iran in 1990. An innovator with a natural ability for deep thinking, he was keen and focused on his academic goals. He joined the computer science department at U of Team as a PhD student in 2017, in which he received the best student paper award in 2020. His research in systems and networking focused on designing the next generation of networks. He believed that the more technology improved, the better the world would be. And he wanted to play a role to ease the life of human beings. His goal was to reach the leading edge of science and he was eager to make contribution enhancement to technology. Muhammad Amin will always be remembered as an individual who cared deeply about the impact of his research and wanted to make the world a better place. Mujtaba Abbas Nejat. He was mentioned by his friends as a very bright, kind, caring, and talented, and intelligent fellow. Mujtaba, known to friends and Surush, was born in 1993. He was a PhD student in the engineering faculty at the University of Toronto. His thesis project involved hardware acceleration of an embedded system for monitoring distributed fiber optic sensors. He was described by his professor as a knowledgeable and promising student who was well liked by colleagues, always genuine, smiling, happy, and positive. Even after he came to Canada, he was actively mentoring people wishing to get admission to U of D. Mujtaba will be remembered for his kind heart and positive attitude. Muhammad Amin Jebeli. Amin was well known in a tight knit group of students for his humility, kindness, and his dedicated work ethic. In Iran, his work took him to places where he was needed, leading him to volunteer as a family and emergency care physician and to shadow doctors who had expertise in areas like cardiology and radiology. He also volunteered in primary schools to help provide medical screen for diseases. In 2018, Amin came to Toronto to pursue a Master of Health Science in Translational Research, where he soon carved out a name for himself and built close friendships. Amin will always be remembered as a young man who was gentle, soft-spoken, bright, and clever, who was curious about the world. Muhammad Mahdi Eliasi. Muhammad was born in 1991. He earned a master's degree in mechanical engineering at the University of Alberta in 2017. When his colleagues ran into all different problems, Muhammad will always come up with some solution to solve them. Being helpful was important to him. He helped teach English to refugees and he listed the U of A's students volunteer campus community language lab among his volunteer activities. 
he moved to Toronto to work as an engineer after graduation. And about a year ago, he co-founded a startup called ID Green, which aims to use drones in an innovative crop monitoring service. <sighs> Mohammed will always be remembered as a hardworking and creative engineer and motivated, caring individual. Let us pause for a moment of silence to reflect, pray, and honor all eight of them. I quote the great Persian poet Rumi once again, as I did in the beginning. Don't run away from grief, O oh soul. Look for the remedy inside the pain as the rose comes from the thorn and the ruby came from a stone. U of D has been devastated by the loss of eight members of its community who perished in the last year's tragic downing of the flight PS752. The U of T Faculty of Engineering, Medicine, Art and Science have been touched by losing these remarkable students and brightest young minds. They made an indelible mark on the life at U of T. Let us remember them for all the can-do and must-do attitude they brought into the world. Our deepest condolences to their families and their friends, members of their academic community and everyone who knew these incredibly smart and driven, yet generous and caring individuals. We'll begin by a video which contains the voice of all their families expressing their feelings about these losses. Some of these voices might be in Persian language. من چهرش از ذهنم پاک نمیشه هیچ وقت و همش این خاطراتش توی ذهن من داره گردش میکنم منظورم که روحش حال باشه آتشی در دل سعدی به محبت زده ای دود آن است که وقتی به زبان میگذارد یاد خاطرش همیشه با ما هست و جاش خالیه جاش خالیه Russia 
To honor the memory of you of the affiliated <coughs> victims, we are launching a fundraising campaign called Beyade Parvas. These bright individuals were thriving in an intellectual journey that brought them <coughs> great success through perseverance and faith. This campaign aims to provide underprivileged children with education opportunities to keep their memories alive and to follow their path toward making the world a better place. An amount of just $1 per day is almost enough to pay for the education of one child in Iran for one day. So please help us to honor the victims by providing education for those in need, which was one of the main goals of all of the eight students that we lost. As this message is very, very important, I'll say it in Persian language as well. Be manzoor pastashte yad va khatere hasht aziz hamkelasi man, ke safar abadi khish ra aghaz kardan, campaign jamaavari komak mali ra aghaz kardan, ke az tariq khaydiye pardis, tanha khaydiye irani rasmi va sab shode dar Kanada, baraye amuzesh kudakan bibezaat dar Iran, طراحی شده و مبلغ حمایت کامل از یک کودک برای یک سال 360 دلار کانادا می باشد. Thank you very much. <coughs> Now it is my honor to invite our first speaker, Professor Mike Stickel, the acting vice provost and vice dean in the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering to say a few words. Professor. Yeah, thank you very much, Mobin. Um, I want to thank you all for joining us from your homes uh, to show your support and care in honor of the lives lost one year ago, January 8th, 2020. I also want to thank the family, friends of the students we lost to allow us to be with you at this time of grief and remembrance. And on behalf of the entire U of T community, I want to extend my heartfelt condolences to you all for the loss of your loved ones. And I'm glad to be here to celebrate the incredible impact that they've had on our community uh, in their short time with us. Finally, I want to express my gratitude uh, to Mobin and all the other student organizers who have come together at U of T uh, to put together this memorial, specifically the Iranian Association at the University of Toronto and the UTSC Iranian Student Organization as well as all those students in the academic programs that were impacted by the tragic deaths of their fellow learners. A year ago today, uh, or a year ago on January 8th, it was early morning in Iran and about 9 p.m. here in Toronto when Ukraine International Airlines Flight 752 was tragically down shortly after taking off from Tehran's Imam Khomeini International Airport. All 176 passengers and crew members perished. And while the flight included citizens of multiple countries, 138 passengers were traveling to Canada. 
of those many student, many were students and academics who had traveled to Iran for the winter break and were returning to Canada. In those tragic moments, loved ones died, dreams of bright futures perished. And with the loss of 46 students, faculty, and researchers from multiple Canadian universities, the world lost incredible talent. U of T specifically lost eight members of our community that day, including six students, which Mobin has so beautifully introduced and, and memorialized. The loss of each of these lives has been profound, as Mobin noted. These students were here not only to create better lives for themselves, they were also passionate about contributing to the university, as we've heard about, and changing the world from mentoring fellow students to enabling access to and inspiring learning to creating global impact through their research. Through this memorial, we have already heard and we will hear more about each of these students. But briefly, uh, I wanted to share a few additional thoughts uh, for each of them. As we've listened and heard from our U of T community, you know, we know these students were leaders and this is evidenced through their involvement with various programs, events, and student groups in addition to excelling in their research and studies. For example, Zainab Asari Lari was the founder and president of the U of T Mississauga branch of STEM Fellowship, a student-run nonprofit organization for future leaders and innovators in data science. Her brother, Mohammed Asari Lari, helped found the Canadian Association for Physician Innovators and Entrepreneurs. He also focused on youth mentorship and was a TEDx talk speaker on empowering youth. Mohammed Amin Buruti was known as a mentor through his work with undergraduate students and his role as a teaching assistant. And Mojtaba Surush Abenazad extended himself to support others in his program. And as we've heard about both here and also overseas for those who wish to come to, here to study. All of these students were described as brilliant, talented, and innovative. Academically, they excelled and have numerous awards and publications to their names. Mohammed Saleh had developed a collaborative research network with Samsung AI and AT&T, as Mobin noted, and presented his work through various publications and conferences. And this includes a post, uh, posthumous uh, co-author of a paper on hierarchical querying for the edge, which has won an honorable mention at an international symposium on edge computing. Mohammed Amin Jabeli was looking forward to becoming a doctor in Canada and also, used, also using his research to solve medical issues in Iran. To honor their legacy, the University of Toronto has launched an Iranian student memorial scholarship that provides needs-based awards to international students from Iran. We will hear more about the Iranian Student Memorial Scholarship from those involved in its creation a bit later. And this scholarship is in addition to other awards that has, have been established at the departmental level, such as the Biruti and Salahe Memorial Fund. But beyond their academic contributions, which we can see are many, they were also friends, siblings, partners, a son or a daughter. We've heard from the U of T community that as friends, they were always there with a smile, a caring and positive attitude that made the community a better place. Friends and professors remember these students as compassionate, kind, joyful, in addition to be talented. And we've heard already how much each of them have dedicated themselves to giving back to the community as well. So with that, I encourage all of us to remember that sharing with this joy, joining in their hopes and dreams of a better future and contributing positively to our communities is all part of our opportunity to honor their legacy, to carry on what they were doing. We continue to honor their memories by caring and supporting one another. A year later, we are still trying to make sense of the loss and the ongoing impact of our students on the U of T community 
and on Canada and uh, certainly globally as well. But we gather here in resilience and care to continue to support one another, to grieve, and to pay tribute to the incredible accomplishments and bright lives cut short. I am deeply sorry for the loss for all of you, for all of us, for U of T, and for Canada and the world. And wish to remind you that the supports are available to you, and I'll include these uh, shortly in the chat for anybody uh, that might need a little uh, support at this time. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you uh, yourself or if you know of somebody is struggling. Um, we are here to support you and each other in this difficult time and at this time of remembrance and to be lifted up as a community as well by the impact and joyful memories each of these beautiful people have brought to U of T through their talents, their gifts, and humanity. Thank you, Mobin. Thank you very much, Professor, for your incredible words. It means a lot to us. And as Professor mentioned, all the links uh, for the uh, mental health support will be available on the chat. Thank you so much. Now we'll continue to watch <clears throat> the next part of the video. زینب عزیزم چندین روز است که سعی می کنم این ویس را ضبط کنم اما هرچه به گذشته فکر می کنم خاطرات من را از اندوه و غم از یاد بردم اما هرچقدر هم که بگذرد نه من نه هیچ کس دیگر در میان ما فراموش نکرده است احساس نابی که کنار تو بودن دارد و سوال ها و حرف های پر از محبت تو را که هر روز که بلند می شدی با لبخندت با وجودت دنیا را برای اطرافیانت زیباتر می کردی اکنون که یک سال از رفتنت می گذرد می دانم که زندگی دنیا همچون سفری است که تو زودتر از ما برگشته ای اما هر روزی که از عمر من باقی مانده است می خواهم راه تو و محمد حسین را ادامه بهم آنچنان که شما وظیفه ملزم خود می دانستید که هر روز زندگی اطرافیانتان را بهتر بکنید با محبتتان، با تلاش و برنامه هایتان و تنها وجودتان هم کافی بود برای بسیاری تا دنیا را زیباتر ببینند و چراغ امید در دلشان روشن باشد My dear Zainab, I cannot tell you how much I miss you I miss walking with you and seeing you care for everyone who was around you You were the kind of person who would rush to help people and you expected nothing in return. I miss talking to you and telling you all about my worries. You made your friends feel warm and loved in your presence and not a day goes by that we wish we could be with you for longer. I miss meeting you after class and listening to you while you told me about your dream of becoming a wonderful physician. I miss your smiles, your gentle words, and your brilliant ideas. You are forever in my heart, and I always try to be just a little bit like you. آتشی در دل سعدی به محبت زده ای دود آن است که وقتی به زبان می گذارد. آدم های زیادی رو من تو زندگیم ندیدم که واقعا بشه از همه چیزشون برای بقیه گفت تعریف کرد مثال زدنی باشن تو تمامی جنبه ها و زمینه ها اصلا روایت کردنی باشن اما محمد حسین عزیز چه اخلاقش چه دانش پژوهیش چه افق بینی خیلی ویژش چه اون روحیه اجتماعی عجیبش همه اینها واقعا تعریف کردنی بود ام اون تراژدی تلخ هواپیما گرچه قلب ما رو عمیقا سوزوند اما به نظر محمد حسین عزیز رو روایت کردنی تر کرد انشالله که حالش خوب بشه ما و لیلی هم سفر بودیم من در راه عشق او به مقصدها رسید و ما هنوز آره 
محمد حسین اسدی لاری رو برای اولین بار توی یکی از ایونت های دانشگاه که خاطرم نیست با هم آشنا شدیم ولی هر من محمد حسین رو زیاد می دیدم چون محل آفیس من نزدیک ساختمون مدیکال ساینسز بود و منم بعضی موقع اونجا می رفتم محمد حسین اونجا خیلی خیلی می دیدم بسیار آدم با روحیه بسیار آدم خوشرو و مهربون با قلب خیلی بزرگ و چهره گشاده هر وقت من محمد حسین رو می دیدم حتی اگر داشت با دوستای خارجیش مثلا صحبت میکرد و اینا ازشون اصخایه میکرد یه وقتی میگرفت میومد اینور با من هم یه سلام و احوال پرسی میکرد و همیشه میپرسید اوضا چجوریه بسیار آدم اکتیب و فعالی بود توی کامیونیتی هایی که با هم اشتراک داشتیم و با هم بودیم محمد حسین نقش های خیلی کلیدی و رول خیلی مشخصی رو همیشه بازی میکرد و به خاطر این نقش برجست و مهمی که همیشه داشت فکر نمی کنم بشه جایگاهش رو فراموش کرد و, و براحتی به فراموشی سپورش امیدوارم که روح شاد باشه مجتبه یا سروش که بعضی ها میشنسنش از دوستای سهمی دوره کارشناسی من بود توی احواز یه گروه از بچه ها بودیم که بیشتر وقت اون با هم میگذرانی اون موقع واقعا به سر با استعداد و با تلاشی بود خیلی در این حال خودمونی و خاکی و با همه سمیمی فکر نکنم ایش کنم هم کلاسی ها چه هم دوره یا چه سال بلایی ها چه سال پایینی ها که تی ایشون بود چیزی جز خوبی ازش بیادشون باشه توی سال اول من تقریبا تموم شده بود توی تورنتا که پذیرشی گرفت برای همین دانشگاه و فهمیدم میاد واقعا خوشحال بودم بیشتر حتی میتونم بگم برای خودم که میریدم یکی دوستای قدیمیم قراره بیاد پیشم و کمتر تو این شهر تنها خوشحال بودم لبشون همون طبقه ما بود و نزدیک بودیم و خلاصه کافی بره کار وقتی اومد دیگه بیشتر با هم میرفتیم درس های سال اول خیلی مشغولش کرده بود تقریبا میشه گفت یا اون اواخر هیچ وقت هیچ که وقتی نداشت به کار دیگه ای نمیرسید بکنه غیر از درس و پروژه هایی که داشت به امید اینکه خلاصه این ترم و این سال تموم میشه و سر ما خلوت میشه که خب نشد و خلاصه حیف شد واقعا حیف شد واقعا به سر نازنین از مشتبه عباس نجات بیشتر شنیده ایم و متاسفانه فرصت آشنایی نبوده. ای کاش فرصت بیشتری بود. فقط از خوشروی مثبت بودن، هوش و استعداد بی‌نظیرش یاد میشه. دوست عزیزه که هر چند سعادت آشنایی نبوده، ولی آنقدر از خوبی شما شنیدیم که انگار سال هاست آشنایی. اون پیام حلالیت گرفتن آخر که همراه با پیش بینی دردناکی بود که به وقوع پیوست را خوندی. حیف. حیف و صد حیف که دیگر در میان ما نیستی. به جستجوی تو بر درگاه کو می گریم. در آستانه دریا و علف. جستجوی تو در معبر بادها می گریم در چهار راه فصول در چهار چوب شکسته پنجره ای که آسمان ابرالوده را بابی کهنه می گیرد به انتظار تصویر تو این دفتر خالی تا چند تا چند برخ خواهد خورد جریان باد را پذیرفتن و عشق را که خواهر مرگ است و جاودانگی رازش را با تو در میان نهاد پس به حیعت گنجی در آمدی بایسته و آزنگیز گنجی از آن دست که تملک خاک را و دیاران را از این سان دلپذیر کرده است نامت سپید دمی است که بر پیشانی آسمان میگذرد متبرک باد نام تو و ما همچنان دوره میکنیم شب را و روز را 
عناصر من با محمد امین بیروتی توی نمازخونه دانشگاه آشنا شدم و اولین دیالوگمون رو اونجا داشتیم ولی بعد از اون به صورت متناوب تو جاهای مختلف توی ایونت های دانشگاه توی جیم توی فعالیت های مختلف محمد امین رو دیدم ویژگی خیلی بارزی که از محمد امین تو ذهن من نقش بسته و هرگز نمیتونم فراموش کنم اون متانت رفتاری و آرامش و سکونی که همیشه داشت برای من خیلی قابل توجه و قابل احترام بود هر وقت محمد امین رو میدیدم با هم صحبت میکردیم یه آرامشی ازش میگرفتم به خاطر رفتار متینی که داشت امیدوارم که روحش قرین رحمت و آرامش باشه هر جا که هست و من چهرش از ذهنم پاک نمیشه هیچ وقت و همش این خاطراتش توی ذهن من داره گردش میکنه امیدوارم که روحش شاد باشه We have a Persian poem from Saadi that says a man who is remembered with goodness and kindness will never die. Muhammad Amin Beiruti and I used to work in the same research group in the CS department. He had a very kind and peaceful character and was very hard working and talented in his research. In the last year that we lost him, his research topic is continued in our group. His research is published as papers and posters and one of his papers received the best paper award in a conference last April. Both his memories and research is alive. Sa'di ya mard neku naam namirad hargiz. Mard aana az ke naam ash be neku yi nabaran. Now I'll be inviting Mr. Hamid Reza Nadirian, Persian vocalist and instructor. Mr. Nadirian. I also want to mention that all the links for mental health is available at, at the chat right now. And also if you're watching us online and Facebook or you're watching us through our uh, Instagram online, just remember that we have the post ready right there for how you can donate um, in the Paradise Charity. And as I mentioned, it is one of the only, it's the only Um, charity that it's uh, registered for uh, and can send money to Iran for underprivileged um, children. Um, is uh, Mr. Nadirian ready? Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Nadirian. Hi, Mabin John. Hi everyone. First of all, I would like to thank and appreciate the Iranian Association at the University of Toronto for organizing uh, this event uh, to the memory of the victims of flight uh, 752, this unbelievable tragedy. Um, I have chosen a sign in Persian, uh, and I would like to dedicate it uh, to the souls of our friends and the students, those victims of the flight 752. گریه کن که گرد سیل خون گرین سمر یاد زین آی دی اثر نداره هر کسی که نیست اهل دل زده خبر نداره دل زی دست غم مفر نداره 
Thank you. Uh, now we'll be watching the rest of the video that, that is the voice of the families for expressing their feelings. Thank you, Hamid Rezajan. Thanks. هیچگاه چهره مهبان و چشمان نجیبت با قلب بخشنده تو که با پول باری از عشق و از تو بازی رحص پار منافق زلزله زده شدی از یادها نکاهد رفت. محمد عزیزمان همکار خوش رو که در بزارهای نوروزی همراه خیریه بودی و بارها فداکارانه در جمعهای گلریزان یار و پشتیبان کودکان چشم به راه کمک بودی. یاد مهبانی هایت هیچگاه از خاطر همکارانت در خیریه پردیس نخواهد رفت. بهشت برین جایگاه انسانی چون توست. راحت، هموار و طلب خیر برای بازماندگانت. با محمد الیاسی در یک ایونت روانشناسی که توی دانشگاه برگزار شده بود آشنا شدم برای اولین بار محمد دانشجو نبود. فکر میکنم از دانشگاه آلبرتا فارغ و تحصیل شده داری برای کار اومده بود تورنتو که ما توی اون ایونت با هم آشنا شدیم بسیار بسیار خوشخل بسیار بسیار مهربون و تمام وقتهایی که میدیدیمش همش درگیر فعالیت ها برای خی... کارهای خیریه و اینها بود اتفاقا تو همون ایونت هم میگفتش که من توی خیریه پردیس فعالیت میکنم توی برنامه های دیگه با هم والیبال بازی میکردیم با هم کلی قدم زدیم رفتیم اومدیم توی دور های دانشجویی دانشگاه خیلی وقتا می اومد شرکت می کرد هر وقت میتونست کاری از دستش برمیومد حتما برای بچه ها بدون هیچ منت و خوا... بدون از توقع خاصی به همه کمک می کرد و سعی می کرد که برای کامیونیتی که توش هست آدم مفید و به درد بخوری باشه من محمد محمد الیاس رو نمیتونم فراموش کنم و چند وقت پیش آخرین بار رفته بودم توی یکی از مسیج‌های تلگرامم نگاه می‌کردم یه دیالوگ خیلی قشنگ با هم داشتیم و چیزی که برام خیلی دردناک بود چند وقت پیش تلگرام به من پیام داد که این اکانت برای یه مدت خاصی اکتیو نبوده و به خاطر همین باید دیلیت بشه بعد این مسیجی که برای من اومد دوباره تمام این خاطرات و این اتفاقای عجیبی که افتاد رو برای من مجددن به یادم آورد امیدوارم که روی محمد الیاسی عزیز هم شاد باشه و غیر رحمت باشه امین روح بزرگی بود نه به خاطر تحصیلات عالیه پزشک بودن و حتی آرامشش امین روح بزرگی بود برای اینکه خوب بودن رو با عمل در حد توانش از خودش شروع کرد 
شروع کرد در کشتن سحیم نباشه و از درد کشیدن همسیاره های خودش به خاطر سود شخصی راحت نگذره از امین یاد گرفتم که خوب بودن رو از بشقاب خودم شروع کنم تکه های روحم در واگویه هایم گویا گم می شوند کسی حقیقت درد قلبم را درک نمی کند چون واقعیت ها هنوز بیان نشدند می گویند نگو تکرار نکن ذهنت را نشخار نکن با خاطرات اما میگویم قلبم شکسته است الان یک ساله که دنیا خالی شده از وجود دکتر محمد امین جبلی فارغ التحصیل رشته پزشکی دانشگاه علوم پزشکی تهران و دانشجوی مقطع کارشناسی ارشد رشته تی آر پی دانشگاه تورنتو میتونم شهادت بدم که امین چقدر انسان درست لطیف مهربون و با معرفتی بود امی مثل هر جوون دیگه کلی برنامه داشت برای زندگیش. قرار بود که ولیسانسش رو در دانشگاه تورنتو تموم کنه. قرار بود برای ورود به تخصص پزشکی در کانادا تلاش کنه. قرار بود برای موندن تو کانادا تلاش کنه. قرار بود که تجربه تازه گیاهخواریش رو ادامه بده. اما اون پرواز لعنتی دی 98 اجازه نداد. افسوس که ما دیگه نمیتونیم بهره ببریم از این لطافت. یادش جاویدان. من دکتر محمد امین جبیدی رو خیلی ساده که میشناسم از کلاس هشتم تا به الان انسانی بسیار ساده خاکی مهربان و دوست داشتنی یاد خاطرش همیشه با ما هست و جاش خالیه امین جان از امیق ترین سیاهی تاریخ صدای منو میشنوی سیاهی مرکب ظلم و جنایت و غم این یک سال که صداتون نشیندم و ندیدمت به وسط چند نسل به همون گذشت از ای کاش ها نمیگم چون تهرنگی که به این تاریکی میده بنام از بین رفته منتظرم نمیدونم منتظر چیم بارها تو خیالم کنار توی هوا پیمانش هستم و اون صده یه با هات زندگی کردم و مردم دستتو گرفتم حس کردی و غلط کردم دود سیاه توی کابینو با هات استشمام کردم دل هره سقوط رو با هات تجربه کردم نور آتیشی که به جونمون زدن و توی کابین دیدم و صدای همسفرات هم شنیدم سلام زهر جون خوبی دلم برا تنگ شده توی یک سالی که رفتین خیلی اتفاقات افتاده و من خیلی خیلی زیاد دل تنگتم یه وقتی میخواستین برین دوتا گلدونتون رو دادی به من که مغازهشون باشم که وقتی که برگشتی بدم بهت تو هیچ وقت بر نگشتی و اون گلدون ها مونده پیش من میخواستم بهت بگم که دارم تلاش ها میکنم که مغازهشون باشم که حواسم بهشون باشه امیدوارم که تو هم از اون دنیا حواست به ما باشه و به گلدونات من میخوام در مورد زهرا بگم زهرا حسنی سعدی و همسرشون آقای محمد صالح این دو بزرگوار رو از نزدیک من نمیشناختم در حد سلام علیف توی دوره همه های همسایه ها و دانشگاه اما توی همین برخوردهایی که داشتیم یه خصوصیتیشون برم خیلی برجسته و قابل توجه بود و اونم سکوت و آرامششون بود چه این روزگاری که هیاهوی کلمات و اطلاع دنیامونو پر کرده زهرا سکوت رو انتخاب کرده بود و توی آرامش قوتور بود انگار که در وجودش یه رودخونه زلال جاری بود که زهرا نمیخواست با شکستن سکوت آرامش این رودخونه رو برهم بزنه حالا بعد از رفتنشون دائم این بیت شعر توی ذهنم مرور میشه یه صدا میخوندشون سمت خدا با سکوتشون رسیدن به صدا آقا محمد صالح یکی از باوشترین با استعدادترین و توانترین افرادی بود که من در رشته علوم کامپیوتر میشناختم ایشون هم برنامه‌نویس خیلی قابلی بود هم در مسائل تئوری آدم خیلی قوی بود از مدالای برتر المپیاد و رتبه‌ای برتر کنکور ایشون که بگذریم هر متخصصی که چند دقیقه با ایشون صحبت می‌کرد می‌فهمید که چقدر در رشته‌شون مهارت دارن 
در مدت کوتاهی که کانادا بودن حتی شرکت های بزرگ کامپیوتری برای جذبشون با هم دیگه رقابت میکردن میشناختن میفهمیدن که چقدر تواناست ولی دوستان و آشنایان محمد که اتفاقا از طیفای فکری مختلفی بودن ایشون رو به خاطر فروتنی آرامش و اخلاقشون به یاد دارن محمد آدم بسیار آرام متینی بود و هر کسی که میشناخت تا جایی که میتونست کمک میکرد و برای همین بود که مورد احترام کسی بود کسانی بود که ایشون رو میشناختن مطمئنم که ایشون به واسطه اعتقاد ایمانی که داشتن الان جای بهتری هستن و امیدوارم که اون دنیا با اولیه خدا محشور بشن بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم روز وصل دوست داران یاد باد یاد بادان روزگاران یاد باد محمد ساله رو من از سال هشت رفت میشناسم زمانی که حل تمرین من بود در درس ویب در دانشگاه شریف بسیار آدم با سواد فروتن مهربان و خوش اخلاق بود و تمام دانشجو هم یادم راضی بودن ازش هنوز من برای یادآوری ایمیل هایی که اون موقع رد و بدل میشد رو گاهن میبینم بعدش در شرکت بیان مشغول شد مدیر فنی بود اونجا هم کارهای واقعا بزرگی میگرد به رایانش ابری و کلاود کامپیوتینگ علاق من شد و زمینه تحقیقاتیش در دانشگاه تورنتو مقطع دکترا در همین زمینه بود قرار بود یکی دو هفته قبل از سفرش با هم دیدار داشتیم یه کار مشترکی که شروع کنیم و قرار شد بعد از برگشتانش ادامه بدیم که قسمت نشد همیشه یادش میکنم و واقعا عزیز بزرگ را از از داریم Now it is my honor to invite Dr. Rezai, Program Development Officer at Academics Without Border, to say a few words about the life that we lost at U of T. Dr. Rezai. Thank you, Mabin. Uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, the Most Beneficent, the Most Merciful. Uh, good afternoon and good morning to those who are joining us from across Canada, and good evening to those of you who are joining us from Iran. Thank you all for joining us for this special and touching tribute. My name is Rahim Rizai, and I'm deeply honored to be with you and to share a few words. Let me begin by expressing our condolences to the victims' families, friends, associates, and to all of you today on this call. Especially our heart goes out to the families of the eight students that we lost from the U of T family just a year ago. But let me first express also our gratitude to the student team who I know have worked tirelessly to organize this event for all of us. Um, together, they represent three student organizations at the University of Toronto, the Iranian Association, also called Uteran out of St. George, Bahar Charity, and the Iranian Student Organization out of the Scarborough campus. Thank you all for your hard work and for your dedication. At this point, let me just say a few words in Farsi as I know we have a few guests joining us uh, from Iran. ما را از خود بدانید زیاد درد شما درد ماست. غم از دست دادن عزیزان شما غم ماست. همونطور که شاعر محترمون سعدی میگوید بنی آدم اعضای یکدیگرند که در آفرینش زیر یک گوهرند. چو عضوی به درد و رج روزگار دیگر عضوها را نماند قرار. تو که از مهنت دیگران بی غمی نشاید که نامت نهند آدمی. I just recited a short poem by the 13th century Persian poet Sadi, writes, 
Human beings are members of a whole in creation of one essence and soul. When the conditions of the time bring a member pain, others cannot rest easy or refrain. You who have no capacity to feel others' pain, the name of human you shall not retain. I think it's fair to say that almost all of us who grew up in Iran have this poem memorized. For the students listening, and I know there's many of you today, who do not have it memorized yet, it is your homework for tonight. Just Google Bani Adam and you're there. It's a very popular poem. In fact, it is written, it is inscribed at the entrance to the United Nations. This short poem really captures the essence of the human connection and why it is that the pain of even a relatively few can reverberate in the ocean of humanity affecting all of us. That's why it is on the must memorized list. Moving on, I think the main reason that the organizers asked me to speak here is because I was one of countless people from across to Canada and across, around the world that played a very small role in trying to create enduring mechanisms that keep the memories and the legacies of the victims alive. Our collective hope has been to create initiatives that in a small way symbolize their talents, speaks to their aspiration, align with their dreams and respects their humanity. Three days ago, I published a brief article in the Globe and Mail newspaper here in Canada entitled, What Canada's Response to Flight PS752 Tragedy Says About Ourselves. I observed there that the tragedy created a moment of national unity. As the Iranian Canadian community, we felt the genuine and generous love and support from our friends, our neighbors, and our leaders at all levels. Our government, community, and business leaders stepped up to support victims as families in those vital early days, to seek answers, to advocate for justice, and to support our community at large. Professor Stickle has already spoken very eloquently on some of the contributions and activities at the University of Toronto. I want to focus on just one aspect of this scholarship that he also alluded to as well, as my own involvement has been really in that small capacity. Shortly after the tragedy, the University of Toronto became the first among at least eight Canadian universities that I am aware of to launch and support scholarships in honor of the, of the amazing students that we've lost. I was privileged to play a minor role in the fund's creation and continue to work with others to fundraise for it. Together with, with my colleagues and friend, Dr. Mehdad Hariri, whose support has been valuable in this regard as well, we pitched the idea to a number of other universities across Canada. We saw it as a fitting way to create a positive and lasting legacy for those we lost, especially given that so many of the victims were students and academics. It was also a way to channel our own immense grief and sadness in a positive way and to provide others with a similar outlet. As a result of these and efforts by many others across the country, we now have dedicated scholarship programs in at least eight Canadian universities. These universities include the University of Toronto, of course, Queen's University, University of Ottawa, University of Alberta, University of Victoria, University of British Columbia, Simon Fraser University, and the University of Guam. Named the Iranian Student Memorial Scholarship in most cases. 
all of these funds benefit from matched funding from universities themselves. Broadly speaking, most have a primary focus on Iranian and Iranian Canadian students, and also advancing understanding of Iranian culture and heritage. In the days after the UFT scholarship was launched last January, my colleague Dr. Haruri and I were each contacted by dozens of truly impressive students, mostly from Iran. Some wrote, wrote to simply say thank you. Others sent us their CVs and transcripts to show him how impressive and accomplished they were. Many had assumed that the fund was already supporting students and wanted to know how to apply for scholarships. So we know that the need is great and the impact will also be tremendous for these scholarships. I'm delighted to say that so far at the University of Toronto, we have raised about $156,000 for the scholarship from over 460 individuals and corporate donors. Thanks to the generous three to one matching program by the university, the effective impact of each dollar is amplified by a factor of four. In a touching tribute to this legacy, this past October, two students Ehsan Emadi, a first year computer science student, and Mehrda Jafari Rod, a doctoral student at the Faculty of Music, received the inaugural scholarship. In a tough year, this was music to our ears. But let's get serious for a minute here. I want to remind you that no ruse is around the corner. I know it's hard to believe in Canada with the seemingly three and a half hours of daylight, all the ice and snow everywhere. But for those of you who are still getting 80, or as I used to call it, no ruse even when I was a kid. Sadly, I don't get any more 80 any, anymore, but perhaps some of you still do. May I remind you that thanks to COVID, you don't really need another purse. You don't need another tie. You don't need fancy shoes. Um, but we're here to tell you that you have a lot of other great options to spend some of your AD on this year. Of course, scholarships being one of them. But as Mobin and his team also have pointed out, the Yadi Parvois campaign is also a very deserving and very thoughtful response to this tragedy. But I want to also say that the, the Legacy of the victims of flight PS752 extends far beyond scholarships. In Canada, January 8th has been marked as the National Day of Remembrance for all victims of air disasters to remember all those who have perished in flights. In this spirit, I'd like us to take a moment to also acknowledge the crash of Indonesian airline Airliner about a day or so ago with 62 people on board. Our hearts go out to the victims and their families. Secondly, the Canadian government is working on a Safer Skies initiative to rewrite rules for global commercial aviation in order to minimize the chances of anything like this ever happening again. So in the end, we will all be safer because of the sacrifice made by so many on that tragic flight that took off in the early hours of January 8th from the airport in Tehran. In closing, I hope and believe that I speak for all of you on this call today and countless others when I say to the families and friends of the flight PS752 tragedy, you are not alone. We share in your pain and sorrow. We are there to support you and your cause for justice. We wish you all the strength to cope with this difficult chapter in your lives. You are in our thoughts and you are in our prayers. May the souls of your loved ones rest in eternal peace. 
Thank you very much. Hold on together. Thank you very, very much, Dr. Azai. And thank you for uh, letting us know that there, there are ways that we will be safer and the impact of these lives um, will, be, will be for us as well. Thank you very much. And as you mentioned as well, we have a campaign, a fundraising campaign, and in this video, we'll be getting more information about this campaign. Thank you very much. campaign, our goal is to help underprivileged children in Iran to help break the cycle of poverty. The donations are used for essential needs such as food, clothing, and health so that they can focus on their education. Paradise Charity in Toronto receives the donations and sends them to the well-known local charities in Iran. This campaign would be impossible without the generous help of Paradise Charity. Paradise Charity is a registered Canadian organization established in 2001. In this campaign, Paradise Charity collaborates with well-known local charities in Iran. Paradise Charity and its local partners in Iran are not affiliated with any political, religious, governmental, or ethnic institutions. The full amount of the donations will be allocated to the sponsored children. Reports and documentation will be available to donors upon their request. In loving memory of the eight bright victims of the crash, our goal is to support eight children in Iran for a year. As the minimum amount to fully support a child is $30 for a month, our goal is to raise $2,880. We are sincerely grateful for your heartwarming support. Rumi once said, the wound is the place where the light enters you. 
the wound of this tragedy will never ever get healed. So let us hope their light continues to brighten lives. On behalf of the University of Toronto, the Iranian Association at University of Toronto, Bahar Charity and UTSC Iranian Student Organization, I thank every single one of you for taking your time and attending this memorial. Thank you very much.